In this video, we're going to talk about the at least the beginning of lens design. We're going to talk about spherical lenses. which simply means that in every meridian the lens power is the same. It doesn't change. In every meridian there's the same amount of power. Now there's two types of lenses and we're going to talk about lenses in terms of prisms. Because with a prism You have an apex, which is the point, and then you have the base. Notice the base is thicker. So as light rays go through a prism, they bend towards normal or away from normal. Um, and so the important thing to know about a prism uh, is just like that old Pink Floyd album where you have the light rays scatter. light rays going through a prism. This is the important part. Bend toward the base. So think of lenses in terms of prisms. So if you have two, uh, two prisms, apex to apex, you have a minus lens. And as light comes through it, it's going to bend light rays towards the base. So it scatters light. So minus lens is divergent. The light rays diverge. And it scatters light. The second kind of lens is base to base. And this is a plus lens. And as light rays come through it, it focuses, concentrates the rays of light. So it's convergent. Light rays converge. Okay? Minus lenses cause light rays to diverge, so they're considered divergent, and they're minus lens. They take a minus sign. This type of lens is called concave. This is a concave lens. This is a convex lens. So a convex lens is a plus lens, converges light. Uh, it's a plus lens, and the light rays are convergent. A concave lens is a minus lens, causes light rays to be divergent, so it diverges light rays. Okay? That's, it scatters them. And that's the spherical lens and the power in every meridian would be the same. We'll discuss how we get to the powers in another video.